Hello everyone. I am so excited to be with you all today here on Q Corner. And shout out to Keith and to Dom for having me today. I appreciate it so very much. I'm really happy to be on the show. And to all of you watching, thank you so much. I have something very special to share with you today. Some of you may already know this technique. Some of you may not know this technique. And if you do already know it and you do use it, here are two new things that you can use with this technique. And you might be asking yourself, what is this technique? Well, it's called skinny inflation. Basically, you take a regular balloon and inflate it, but it inflates skinnier than it usually does. I have a Mocha Brown 350 here, and if I were to inflate it just without doing anything, it looks like this. Now, let's get another Mocha Brown 350, and I'm going to share with you the skinny inflation technique. So basically, when you put it on your pump, I'm using a uh, Legenda small pump, the uh, B231 pump. I'm gripping it right, or pinching the 350 right below the halfway point of the balloon, stretching it about double the length, and then maybe a little bit more, and then you basically will inflate it just like that. Oh, look at that. You can really tell the difference. I mean, this is skinny inflated, and this is not skinny inflated, so you can really tell the, the difference in the width of the balloon there. Let me toss those aside. This is the first sculpture we're going to learn. It is a baseball bat. Wow, this is one balloon. Let's learn how to do it, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna get the Mocha Brown 350, and I'm going to, just like we did before, put it on the, the pump, and make sure to grip the, uh, the balloon wherever you're pinching it. I usually, like I said, I go about halfway, maybe just a little bit below halfway, stretch it out pretty good there, and I just sort of pump it just a little bit like that, and then I let go and then pump the rest. All right, and I leave a little tail at the end just like that, okay? All right, so notice you can see where it gets uh, you know, larger in diameter here. So the handle, you'll probably grip it around here, right? The, the person holding the, the bat will grip it here. So right about, and we need a little space for the, the this part right here on the end, okay? So I'm going to come down, let's see, maybe, well, let a, just a little air out right there, okay? I'm gonna tie it, perfect, right, right there, okay? All right, so I have this. Now, now that I have the length, because uh, we're gonna tulip twist this on the end here, okay? So we're gonna have enough space to still grip it after we do that tulip twist, okay? Now, very important, before I go any further, I'm going to tie the end here. I'm gonna tie the end, and I'm gonna push that air back in, in there. We want this a little tighter, this, uh, this part right here. We want it a little tighter. Usually you want it soft, but this one needs to be a little tighter. We'll tie that right there, there we go. Perfect, and I'm going to trim off the excess there. All right, so now, what I'm gonna do, straighten this out just a little bit there, perfect. I'm going to squeeze the bottom part here and then slowly let go. And now we have a bulge on the end there. Here we go. And maybe just a little bit more there. there we go. Okay. So I sort of have two, two bulges there, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this, this knot part, sort of bunch it up there, and I'm gonna tulip twist this down right there. I'm gonna grab it, and I'm gonna twist. And I'm gonna sort of push that back, just sort of like that there, okay? You can sort of squeeze the sides and get it just even, just the way you like it. All right, so there we have it. That is a one balloon baseball bat. Uh, here's the first one I made. It's a little different. I made this one a little bit longer, uh, but just practice. You know, this one's a little bit more smooth transition. This one's a little harder. Uh, it just really depends how much you stretch that balloon. This one I actually stretch a little bit, uh, uh, you know, tighter. The stretch was a little bit, uh, you know, further. When you inflate it, it, you can definitely feel the tension. So uh, this one I, I backed off a little bit, but still same sort of thing. If you have a baseball bat, you gotta have an accessory. 
a baseball, right? And we're gonna learn this cool baseball glove right here with a removable baseball. For this one, you're going to need a Mocha Brown 260, a Mocha Brown 160, and I actually have three uh, five inch rounds. Now I am going to triple stuff this balloon. And the reason for that is the kids, when they like, if you give them a bat and a ball, they're gonna wanna hit the ball. So this really make, makes the ball sturdy. And when you hit it with the bat, it actually will go a little further than if you just hit it with just a single layer, you know, five inch round. So get like a balloon stick or a straw, anything skinny enough and sturdy enough to uh, fit inside a five inch round. Uh, so I'll just take the five inch round, sort of stretch it on that stick, hold it there, take the second one and just sort of put it over top and layer it there and then stretch both of those and do the same thing. You're gonna take this and just sort of stretch that down right there. I'm gonna grab the lip, there, there we go. And just sort of stretch it out, there we go. So now I'll slide that uh, little balloon stick out. And I have three five inch rounds inside of each other and I'm just gonna blow this up to a baseball size. Right about there. Let a little air out. I'm gonna tie all three. You actually only have to tie uh, if you wanted to. If it's really tough for you to tie three, you can really just tie that last nozzle if you want. Um, and then uh, just make sure that when you trim it off, you're not cutting the knot or else they're all deflated. I hope that makes sense. So, but I can tie all three uh, and I'm sure you can too. It's not too difficult. The neck is stretchy enough on the five inch round where you can do that. I'm gonna trim it off really close to the knot there. So you have a nice baseball shape there. A glove, you'll get the Mocha Brown 260. I'm gonna inflate this about maybe three and a half inches uninflated. And then, then I'm going to let a little air out and tie, okay? So this is pretty soft. Give it a slight stretch, there we go. All right, so the first thing that you'll do, there's the tail right there. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is do a about a one inch pin twist, okay? There. Perfect, and then another pinch twist to that, that exact same size, about a one inch. So now you have two pinch twists like that, okay? All right, the next thing, we're gonna do a bubble. We're going to make this part of the glove right here, okay? So this is the smaller section. So we're gonna make that maybe about three, three inches. And then we'll do a pinch twist. All the uh, pinch twists on this balloon are the same size. Give it a little squeeze, let some, some of that air go down to the tail. Another bubble right there, not pinch, uh, pinch twisting that one. And then you'll make another bubble and pinch twist that one, okay? All right, so basically it's gonna go pinch twist, bubble, pinch twist, bubble, pinch twist, bubble. We're gonna have five pinch twists on the top here, okay? There we go, so we got one, two, bubble, Pinch twist, got three. Bubble, another pinch twist. There we go, so we got one, two, three, four. One more, bubble, and then a pinch twist. Perfect. So now we have five. And this part needs to be a little longer, so you can sort of just slide that, you know, this side, sliding up here. And uh, we're going to make it right about there. This so it gets that baseball glove shape there, okay? All right, we can trim off the rest and tie it. I'm just gonna sort of wrap it through to lock it in place and cut off any excess we have. Okay, there we go. So we have this. Now you're going, uh, going to get your 160 Mocha Brown, inflate it, uh, leaving about maybe a three to four inch tail. Let a little air out and tie. There we are. Okay, so you're going to attach the the nozzle of this 160 to the, um, so that we have the long section here. Not the pinch twist on the long section, but that second one next to it, okay? So we're gonna attach that right there. Okay, so that is attached to that second pinch twist. And I'm gonna hold it sideways. We want this to arc just a little bit. 
and attach to these two pinch twists at the bottom there. There we go. All right, so we have that. And now I'm going to bring this back up to the next pinch twist in, in line there, okay? And still keeping that same arc. Okay. So now we need to get to this third, uh, or excuse me, one, two, three, the fourth pinch twist from the long section of the glove. And to do that, what I'm gonna do, I'm basically going to squeeze the air down just a little bit in this 160, just sort of squeeze it, and and pushing that air out with the, my other hand against that bubble, and just attaching it to that last empty uh, pinch twist there. So we have a, a little section of 160, sort of uninflated 160, going from this third to the fourth pinch twist, okay? And then we're gonna arc that one down. This is the smallest of the three bubbles of the 160 on the back. And we'll tie that to the bottom and cut off the rest. There we go. So now we have this. A triple stuffed five inch round. We're gonna stuff that right inside. And all you need is a red and a black marker. You can take your black marker and just sort of do a backwards C and then a regular C, but they are really wide, just like that. There you go. And then what you're going to do is just take your red marker and add some stitching to it. So on the, I just sort of do real wide, small U's on the uh, on the black, crossing over the black, and there we have it. If you're not really confident in your drawing skills, uh, I here is a, a five inch print with two five inch, just regular uh, plain white five inch rounds inside of it. All right, so you can uh, use the printed balloon or you can draw it on. And uh, we have our baseball bat. Uh, here's the one I just made right here. And uh, you know, allow the ink to dry and then you know, you can show the kids uh, or adults, you know, like, hey, you can actually hit this too, you know, just like this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna Let's try it out, here we go. Oh yeah, home run, okay. This is uh, definitely a great balloon for twisters. If you're a decorator um, and you're doing maybe a sports themed event where you're making sports themed decor, just bring some of these with you. Uh, make a couple or you know whoever hired you for this event, see if they have any kids. And um, you can bring this uh, as an added bonus. And that way they're playing with these balloons and not the decor. These are really fun using that skinny inflation technique I just showed you. So with the bat and uh, the ball and glove come together really quickly and I hope you enjoy. I have one more uh, balloon I'd like to share with you today and uh, that is a panda bear. Oh, let me grab it. And here is the cute little panda. Oh, let me show you how to make it real fast. So I've already got everything pretty much made. I took a spring green 160, made two little pin twists and a loop. Uh, tied and cut off the excess and with one black uh, onyx black 160 just one of them I created uh, these so these are hands and the arms and then these right here are the feet got those okay and then I have the uh, the Qualtex 5 inch panda print right here under inflated um, you know, it's pretty soft. If I squeeze it like this, I can feel both my fingers. Even if I squeeze it like this, I can pinch both my, uh, or pinch, you know, my fingers together just like that. So, and then I tie, uh, the knot close to the nozzle, leaving a very long neck right there. You want to squeeze that down, squeeze the air from the head down into the neck of that balloon. And you want to tie the, uh, or twist it where the panda face pretty much covers the entire front of that balloon, like, like that, okay? So if you were looking at it, it's like, oh, that, that looks good, okay? We're gonna tie this, actually make it a little bit bigger. There we go, all right. So just tie that right in there, have that. There we go. And I'll just tie a little small bubble 
and pinch twist it at the bottom of that five inch panda print, just like that. And we'll take these feet and attach them right in there. And I'm going to take these pinch twists on the neck and turn them horizontally. Woo, slippery panda. Okay, now for the fun part. You are going to get a blush 160. We're going to skinny inflate this balloon. So pull it up and right about there. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and tie it. There we go. And to get the sections that are inflamed, if you will, or bulging out, um, all you have to do is pinch where you like it Sort of give it a little rub, just like that. And then like that. Look at that, magical. If you do this for the first time, it is magical. Wow, that's so cool. You, if it, what it bigger, just do it again. There we go. Perfect. And before I twist that and cut the rest off, I always like to sort of twist it about halfway down and then squeezing this air back into this this side and then twisting that there we go and that just allows me to get a lot of nice tension on those midsections so they don't lose air and it looks fat and what I like to do I like to leave a little top section on there before and then uh, so we have the Sort of the main bamboo section. This will be the top of the bamboo. So I twisted it here and here. And I'm gonna cut off the remainder. But hold that, you don't wanna lose that. And tie. And before you lose that, go ahead and pinch twist that. Take your leaf, go right on top. There we go. Now what you're going to do is take your panda and pick what side, left or right, doesn't matter. I'll do uh, this side, looks good. Go uh, basically thread the nozzle of the blush 160 through one of the, uh, the feet. Wrap it around the tail like that, maybe around the other foot once or twice. And I'm going to, I'm going to twist it right beneath that second bulge. And then twist that into the two pinch twists, AKA his hand. His hand go up like he's waving a little bit. That, a little bit that way. Make sure his head is positioned nicely. There is a cute little panda bear that everyone, they're like, that is adorable. You can put on a bracelet, a hairband, even just to hold. Any option is super adorable. And uh, yeah, guys, well, that's all I had for you today. Thank you so much for spending time on Q Corner and checking it out. Um, I think that's it. So guys, I'll send it back to you. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.